Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. This is Iman Shru and we'll continue our practice questions to understand and become pro at Salesforce development. And this is a continuation video of our Salesforce developer masterclass or curriculum that we have been doing for the last one and a half months. And for those of you who are seeing this video as the very first video, start from the very, chap very first chapter, which is chapter one of this playlist and try to set your foundation right and then reach here and for those of you who have been following me in this curriculum with me it's time to look at another use case so this use case is specifically about bonus to employees right so the company has decided to give a minimum bonus of 25000 to all their employees but there's a catch right don't worry the catch is not that there's no bonus there's bonus in use cases all right so the use case bonus exist i'm not sure about how good reality is but the catch here is that the regular employees will get 25000 the managerial employees will get 30000 region heads will get 35 svps will get 40 vps will get 50 ceo coo and cto will get 75k meaning up, up, except for what you get as the minimum bonus there's also an additional bonus based on the kind of personality or the kind of persona or the kind of role that you have in the organization okay so write a method that accepts the employee type and declares the bonus amount okay so it could be any kind of employee and you just have to declare what is their final bonus amount okay so compared to what we did before right before this particular use case was our travel tracker use case which was really good and we learned a lot of deal in that particular use case this is a bit straightforward okay you don't have any collections to use the only thing that you'd want to use here is conditionals right i'll challenge you to try this on your own what conditionals can you use you can either use you you can either use a if clause or you can use a switch case so try to do it with one of those and try to do it yourself if you're someone who's wanting to take a look at how I implement, don't worry, let's continue and do this alongside. I'll create a new Apex class and I'll call it bonus tracker. All right. So what is the method? The method accepts the employee type, meaning the kind of employee it is, right? And it will just declare the bonus amount as straightforward as that. So we'll simply say public static. I'll say decimal and then I'll say fetch final bonus amount and it will accept one parameter which will basically be a string which is nothing but the employee type okay now i can use an if condition which is basically if else if ladder i'll basically use the if else if ladder and i'll finally return my bonus amount Right? I'll assign it to zero and I'll say return this bonus amount. Correct? So now here, what can I assign this value as default to? Everyone is getting a bonus as part of this use case. Okay. And what is that minimum bonus? It is 25,000. So I'll simply assign 25,000. So irrespective of any type of person you are, this is the amount you are going to get sure shot. In my use case again there's a disclaimer okay right but now based on the kind of employee you are there is some additional benefit right so we'll go ahead and create a if else if ladder and this will be based on the employee type correct so what i'll say is if employee type is equal to regular it will be 25k so i don't need to really do anything right the bonus amount stays as is i don't really need to do anything so let's get rid of this entire if clause we can start with the second one which is managerial type so i'll say if employee type equals manager bonus amount should be incremented with what value 5000 because they'll get 30k right so i'll say bonus amount plus 30 plus 5000 right what is the short code of writing this you can get rid of this particular part here and you can simply say plus equal to 5000 that's it all right now 
else if there's a different employee type what is the next category it is region heads so if I say it's a region head what should be the bonus amount incremented to it should be incremented to 10,000 right because they receive 35k which is 25 plus 10 so I'll say increment 10,000 else if the employee type equals SVP then it should be something else if the employee type equals VP it should be something else right else it should be something else so I'll just copy this particular line for all the else if ladders and I'll just remove the spaces to align it a bit better for you and here there's a mistake right which is that mistake have you been able to identify this line right here what's the problem employee type equals SVP it should be a string literal because we are comparing a string literal string literal it should be compared to a string which is basically nothing but anything within single quotes save all right now this should be let's say 15,000 this should be 20,000 and this should be 20 let's say this should be 30,000 now what I've done here is I've categorized this for manager region head SVP VP if it is a regular person it will never go inside this entire condition and it will return it correct correct no not correct see the thing is what I've done is I have given these conditions right here but if you are a regular type person what will happen employee type is, is regular will it go inside this loop this if condition no this is not a manager is this a region head no it's a regular employee SVP no it's regular VP no else so everything else falls in here which means the regular employee will get 25,000 plus 30,000 bonus which is not what the company has decided to do right so this will fail here so what do we need to do you need to put a else if condition here and it, you need to specifically tell which kind of people should receive it so if it is a CE, COO if it is a CTO or if it is a CEO these are the three kind of people right only they should receive this bonus now does it make sense now these are the three types that I have clubbed here now what operator would you use in between them to handle this condition it can either be this guy or it can be this guy or it can be this this guy correct so I can simply say or this is your or operator correct we learned this in our operators and conditionals video so this is your or condition and I'll say save now it makes sense now employee type if it is regular it will not go inside any of the if conditions it will directly return whatever was the bonus amount declared here no special uh, conditions for the regular employee type should we go ahead and test it out let's go ahead and do that let's say bonus tracker dot call the method fetch final bonus amount who do you want to see the bonus for you want to see it for the region head let's take a look so if it is a region head let's see what is the output okay I'll just say system dot debug let's take a look at the result execute highlighted so it should be 25 plus 10 35,000 let's verify it debug only it is 35,000 perfect what about a CEO or a CTO CTO execute highlighted what should it be it should basically be 30 plus 25 55,000 right so take a look at the debug only log ah okay it is giving you 25,000 why is that let's take a look I typed CTO right so let's take a look what did I do here ah, okay I I typed CO twice so this should be CTO save okay so you see how just by debugging your method you were able to identify oh something is wrong with that with that node so our testing helped and now we should be able to see the right data execute it should be 55 or 60 what was it it should be 55,000 right I, I executed the entire section that's why every, everything came up but it should be 55,000 how 25 plus 30 okay now what if it's a clerk or a staff 
right what should be the bonus it should be just 25000 it should not go into any if conditions or any else if ladders also what is the bonus amount for the clerk it is 25000 perfect so our method is working as expected all right for those of you who followed along and did not try it on your own or you were not able to try it, I'll encourage you now that you know the logic, try to write the same code using a switch case, right? So you will be able to practice that switch case uh, conditional uh, operators and conditionals. All right. So try doing that and let me know how it goes. I'll see you in the next use case, which is one more use case. All right. Great. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.